जय हिंद द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज टोरा रूटिंग प्रोटोकॉल सो टोरा द फुल फॉर्म इज टेम्पोरली ऑर्डर्ड रूटिंग एल्गोरिथम basically it is invented by in vincent park and am scott corson from university of maryland it is an on demand routing protocol the main objective of tora is to limit limit the control messages as we have already seen in other algorithms that is the control messages which we required to build up the path they are very very large in a they are in large number so we want to control the message propagation in the highly dynamic mobile computing environment each node has to explicitly initiate a query when it needs to send the data to a particular destination so tora basically it belongs to a class of algorithm called the link reversal algorithm and we have already discussed this in uh, 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 previous classes Uh, a previous lecture tora essentially perform three tasks creation of a route from source to destination then it go with the maintenance of the route and the erasure of the route when the route is no longer valid so tora attempts to build what is known as um, dag which is routed at the destination so for the tora we require a required a directed acyclic graph so what is a directed acyclic graph this is just a short introduction uh, we are aware what is a graph it is a set of vertices and edges uh, in the case of the directed graph v nodes and e edges if every edge in the graph as an ha uh, has an associated direction then that graph become a directed graph now if a path in a directed graph forms a cycle if it originates and terminates at the same node that is a cycle and has at least one link in it so in other words a path from v0 to vk in the graph forms a cycle if v0 is equals to vk and the path has at least one edge that is in this case so in this case what is happening we we are moving from uh, we we are having two edges if such kind of thing is happening we are saying it is a cyclic graph so the directed graph which is having no cycles is a dag so a dag is routed at the destination if the destination is the only node with no downstream nodes that is no links lead out of the destination such a dag is often called the destination oriented graph that is dag what it says that is from if i am saying it is destination then no link is coming out of it so this is your destination oriented dag creation of such a dag from source to destination would contain multiple routes to the destination in the case of the routing may be multiple routes are there the idea is to first build a dag from source to destination then as link fail that is a maintenance part it might be necessary to recompute a dag in order to find a route and for this link reversal algorithms are used if the network got partition that is some node they uh, because tora it is meant for the manet so in this case if uh, some node uh, leave then the network got partition so it ensures of uh, routes again the erasure of routes is required and uh, we again go with the route finding methods uh for its working the tora uses three kind of messages qry upd and clr qry when it is working for creating a route that is the very first step upd message for both creation as well as the maintenance part and the clr when we need to de destroy the route so the topology of the manet changes with time we are aware of this fact thus it is possible that one of the nodes may have all inbound link since for example the only outbound link failed this is not okay since all the destination should have this property such a graph is called destination disoriented at this point the tora resorts to link reversal algorithms 
So, what is link reversal? Let us call a process that is invoked in response to a topology change and it is iterate, called iteration. In the case of the full reversal, if this is invoked uh, a node that is not the destination, then upon finding that it has only one inbound link with while will reverse the direction on all its links. In the case of the partial reversal, during each iteration, every node, say a node i, keeps a list of all its neighbors j uh, during the iteration. A link from node i to node j was in fact reversed to now, showing that the link from node j to node i. If then it then reverses the direction of the links to only those nodes that do not belong to the list. Idea is similar to that of a fluid flow scheme. All the fluid is to flow from source to destination. The source is at the highest level and the destination at the is at the lowest level and the fluid flows from highest level to lowest level that is from source to destination and here we could have multiple hop, uh, machines, nodes. Thus, if an intermediate node has all inbound links to it, then it is a local minimum and it is possible that all the fluid flows to this node rather than to destination. That is, the, the, the packet is never reaching to its destination. So, now the node has to increase its level. In the case of the Torah, each node has an associated height. This height is represented as a quintuple. That is HI, we are having TOI, OIDI, RI, delta I and the node I, uh, identification number that is I. This quintuple represents the height in terms of two parameters. The first is called reference level and second is called offset. In the case of the reference level, it is indicated by the first three elements, that is these three elements and the offset from the reference level and is represented by the last two elements. So, when a node loses its downstream neighbor, it creates a new reference level that is downstream level that is here the nodes are connected. We are saying the fluid is flowing in this direction and if it got, um, uh, 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 got disconnected with this, so ultimately it need a new root discovery algorithm so that the fluid may flow that is the data may flow from here to here. So, when a node loses its last uh, downstream neighbor, it creates a new reference level. For this reference level, 2i is the time at which the failure occurred. So, whenever a failure occurred, 2i need to be updated. OIDI is the ID of the originating node. RI indicates one of the two unique sublevels in the reference level. The second part that is the offset here the delta i it refers to an integer which is used to order the nodes with respect to the reference level that is if we are having so many nodes then which will come after what. So, for this we are having delta i and i is the id of the node itself. So, initially the height of each node is null and it is represented with this. Why we are not keeping it as null? Because it is the uh, ID associated with that node. So, this information is available. The height of the destination is generally set to 0. That is all the four parameters it is set to 0. Each node report its height to its neighbors that is this destination might be associated to multiple uh, nodes. So, it will send this its height information to these nodes. If no info about a neighbor set uh, uh, its height to null. If the neighbor is destination then set its height to 0. Each node also maintain the state of the links incident on it that is the uh, incoming uh, you could say uh, path to that particular node. If its height is greater than its neighbor j, then the link to j is marked as downstream, otherwise it is marked as upstream. 
let's uh, understand the torah with the he help of an example so in this case we are having um, uh, this is my source node okay and this is my destination node how i had ad identified destination node because see earlier we have said th that all the parameters of the destination node is set to zero so the destination in this case is x a is a source and it need to find a route to x so it will send the query packet and to whom it will send the query packet it will send the query packet uh, to both to c as well as to b because it is broadcasting so c and b broad broadcast this message e knows that x is one hop away d broadcast the uh, qry message it contains the height which is currently null so further what e will that is once the e re uh, receives the information what it will do here the e creates a reference level 000 and indicate that it has an offset delta e is equals to 1 from the reference level why because due to this so it will send set these three parameters as it is copy 000 but this last parameter that is a reference level it it increments it to 1 now it will generate an upd message that is e it will generate a upd message it also set a direction for its link to x that is from e to x so here if you look at the here what is happening y is setting height 1 when the uh, d is receiving the message it is setting height to similarly c in this case now if you look c is receiving the message from d as well as from e so here when it is receiving the message it height should be 3 but from here it is 1 and when the message 2 so it will work on the minimum clear here so it will work on the minimum here what will happen again c from c uh, here what we are having 2 so here it will set to 3 and in this way the link is find from e to x c and d receive this message from e and generate an update they also set e to be a downstream node future broadcast of the upd message result in the generation of the DAG. that is we are sending the qry packet first destination is receiving then it is working in the reverse direction and it is sending the upd message and this upd message it help in formation of the DAG graph note in the final part of the figure all links are directed and the destination this x does not have any downstream node in this case What happen when the link fail? That is the root maintenance part. Let's suppose link 4 fail. That is this link. It got failed. At this time, notice that other than the destination, all nodes still have an outbound link. Thus, the none of the node generate the UPD message. So, again, this DAG is still working. This is especially attractive when the network is dense. Most nodes have many out outbound link and sometimes single failure. It does not impact the um, maintain root maintenance part. Now, let's suppose link 7 got failed. That is in this case. Now, node E does not have any outbound link in this case. Okay, so thus we resort to a full link reversal at E and how what E will do now E generates a new reference level which is 1 sets the O now OID comes to existence OID to E and transmit an UPD message it also reverses the direction of all its outbound link that is if you look at the figure here the link reversal has been done.
at this node c no longer has the outbound link so it uh, it resorts to partial link reversal it reverses the direction of its link to a and b and transmit an upd it also set its own offset to minus 1 to ensure that it is at a lower level as compared to e and this thing now the situation repeats at b after b reverses the, its links and transmit an update this is now a full reversal thus it stays at the same level as c but indicates the full reversal by flipping ri this causes a partial reversal at a finally an update is, update uh, is generated at c and the dag is restored in this case that is how the root maintenance take place now let link 5 fail this causes a network partition okay if this we now we are having two subsets e d y and x are okay in this case but c has no outbound link it creates a new reference level which is 2 and sets the o id to c and sends a upd this causes a to have no outbound link a resort a resort to partial reversal it set its height to minus 1 reverses its link to b and broadcast an update now what will happen due to this b does not have outbound link so it resorts to a full reversal at full reversal ri is flipped this cause a partial reversal at node a a's upd message after the partial reversal creates the same situation at c this would cause c to realize that there is no part to x so it sets at height to null and sends a upd to a and b now the nodes realize there is no part to a that is uh, uh, to x that is how uh, the uh, when two subsets are created in the network how the source comes to know that it, it uh, that it has no way now to be connected with the destination node What are the advantages of this algorithm on demand routing protocol? Create a DAG whenever it, it is required. And in this case, multiple path is created. So it is very helpful in the maintenance part as we have seen in the very first case. Although the path got broken, but still uh, the, there is a path from source to destination and uh, uh, no um, uh, maintenance work is required and it is very good it, it, it has provided good results in the dense network but what is the problem same as on demand routing protocol uh, that is when we go for the communication if the communication is very small then a lot of communication of the control messages they it take place in the network so it is a disadvantage in this case not much use since dsr and aodv they had already outperformed tora and scalability is also a very uh, you could say it is a problem or a issue in the case of tora algorithm so these are the advantages and disadvantages so in this lecture uh, we had already we discussed the tora algorithm and uh, that is a routing protocol on demand routing protocol for the manets thank you and jai